Hello, 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 hello. Welcome back. Um, I've got something a little bit different planned for today. Um, I'm going to be making an asset here, start to finish. Um, and this one is something that uh, I honestly have uh, not looked at close enough um, to figure out how the hell I'm going to make it. And so, uh, let me show you what it is that I'm going to be making. Uh, it's one of my totems, and it is the the Dragon Zord Dagger from the um, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And uh, and the reason I'm making this is that I've replaced one of my one of my creatures has been replaced with a uh, with a creature that that this totem would be perfect for, and so uh, it means I need to make one of these things. And so I haven't actually spent all that much time looking at it, and uh, I figured I should. Uh, take a look at it and try and figure out how it's constructed and uh, figure out how the hell I'm going to make it. So this is a... Um... <laughs> da -da, da -da, da -da -da. No, no, there's no audio when you pick it up. Um, it would be pretty cool, but no. Um, so this thing is kind of half dagger... Uh, half trumpet or flute. I mean, it's got the keys from a trumpet. Um, it's got a mouthpiece on the uh, the handguard, and then you can see there's all kinds of what I imagine is supposed to be brass uh, tubing on this thing to make it look a little bit more like an instrument. And then some finger holes that look like they're right out of a um, right off of a uh, clarinet or something of that nature. Um, and so anyway, this is uh, this is one of the totems I've got to build. And uh, I need to find some decent reference for it. A lot of people have made uh, what looks like 3D printable versions of this thing. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to find any blueprints for this. Or if I'm just going to go uh, straight from an image. Um, you can see when you get into the 3D printed ones here. Uh, there's actually, that's a really good uh, reference image right there. So it looks like these are, this is Nestial, it's a printable file that you can buy. And um, and it looks like the, the this is a print of that file. Uh, but this actually gives me a pretty good look at uh, some of the features on this thing. Uh, I would love to be able to see it from both sides. Uh, I'm going to presume that it, I, I know it's not symmetrical. I can see the mouth piece actually angles towards the user. Um, and so it would be able to, it would be really, really useful if I could see a turnaround of this thing so I could see it from both sides. Um, in order to figure out what the hell I'm doing, they have made all kinds of, uh, replicas that you can buy and stuff like that. It seems like all the photos, they're all taken from exactly the same side. Um, front and back. Uh, this is one of the totems that has been uh, frightening me the most. Um, I've got two of them, two of them that I'm a little concerned about how long they're gonna they're gonna take me to make, and uh, and that's because of their complexity. Um, I have no idea how long this thing's gonna take me to make. It's it's organic, it's inorganic, it's it's kind of a little bit of everything. And so that's a little, um, let's see if I can find blueprints for it. Gonna T at the end of that. So no blueprints. Which would have been really nice to find. I think that, that is going to be the best image I'm going to find. Um... In terms of reference. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to save this image. I'll throw it in my reference folder here. Um, we'll see what we can't do. I'm about putting this together.
So, let's go grab the reference and bring it into the world here. What are we doing? 1440. Okay, that's easy. Whoop. And kill these. What's up, Christian? How you doing, brother? Uh, this doesn't look as good as it could. Sooner or later, gotta cut you down. Let's go make sure my viewports are actually not nerfing this. They are not. Okay. Tell him a god's gonna cut him down. How you doing, brother? Okay. It's a little bit better. So I'm just aligning my pivot point here to get a little bit of a better orientation on this, trying to get it right down. There's a few things like the the uh the dragon coin here um which is it looks like at least from this print is on both sides so there's a little bit of 3d information from this print that i can i can grab um which is useful it looks like they've put cutaways in the uh in the side of this thing that allow for the blade to go into uh which is kind of nice i can see the you know a little bit more some of the shapes of this thing like there's a a cylinder here with a cylinder on top of it and the box above that, and then the piping. And then this looks like a cylinder with the trumpet, keys, and some other little screwball-y details. And so it looks like it's not going to be all that difficult to actually make. The trick is going to be uh, in some of the more uh, interesting details, like the, uh, the clarinet um, buttons here that need to lie on a curved surface. So there's... There's a few things like that that I'm going to want to be uh, very careful when I do this. I think I'm starting to think this thing actually looks a little bit more spherical than it does um, cylindrical. So I'm going to make that out of a box. Again, it's really hard to see in in many of these images, but anyway, let's let's see what we can do with that. So I'm going to start with that. Uh, let's make a box about yay big. And let's make it cubic. Run it to an edible poly, affect the pivot, center the pivot. Um, I'm going to turbo smooth this with two iterations, three iterations. We're going to add a spherify. And then I'll put this at the zero here. And scale it up until it matches the outer perimeter of that shape. So that looks good for what's going to be the uh, the main core here. And now what I need to do is start creating some of these cylindrical elements. I'm going to mirror them on both sides, um, which will be a fairly easy thing to do. Um, I'm just going to figure out how big to make that and i can actually kind of see it here a little bit so what would what would be really super useful on this thing is if these edges were actually um cylindrical and i'm going to see if i can do that by doing this grow 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 shift select turn on my edge constraints and loop regularize that did not go well so let's try and do it just on the one side. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to convert this to an edible poly and I'll try it again.
Yeah, we're gonna have to see how they uh, how they work. Um, some ZBrush features have been uh, very <laughs> optimistic about how good they would be, um, and have fallen a little flat. But uh, I don't know, man. If they can pull off what they're claiming, um, you know, could also mean the end of Marvelous Designer, right? Okay, so let's see how that looks. It does not. Let's try this again. It bothers me that that's still... Yeah. Okay, I'm going to undo all of that. I'm going to have to do this as a slice. Which is going to live here. So that's my Y. 10. Okay. So let's do that. Let's grab half this thing. We'll do a slice plane. Where's my slice plane? There you are. Okay, we're going to rotate the slice plane 90 degrees. And move it. That did not move where it said it would. That's what I wanted. Okay, so let me hit a slice plane here. So I've got that round cut in there now, which is what I was really hoping to get. And I really want to make sure it stays away from there. But anyway, it looks like it's okay. I'm going to have to clean up the geometry in this sphere here in a moment. And I got four triangles I need to add here that are all in the wrong place at the wrong time. Okay, delete that. Okay, how beveled is that thing? Oh, it definitely comes out and then goes in. Okay, so hold shift. Now is not the time for edge constraints. I'm gonna bring it in. Seems to be off a little bit here. There, that looks better. Uh, scale it again. Okay. Bring this up. Give that a little bit of a, a little bit of a curve, and then I'm just gonna go clean up the geo here, where this got away from me. So with this, I've got a nice clean sphere mesh with a nice cylindrical hole here. And I can go and pull that in to make the base for the coin. Do something like that and bring it in like that. Okay. So that's where the coin's going to go. And then on the top of this thing, we need the mouthpiece 
which appears to be just a series of boxes. It'll be fairly easy to do. I'm going to want to straighten out these edges. Let's turn on the edge constraint again here. And we're going to align this in Y. And do the same one on the opposing side. That one. Okay, and I should be able to look at the shape here. I think it's only about two polygons in. Yeah, I should be at the right place. So this is all going to be mouthpiece. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. So I'm going to extrude. We'll set this to Z. Turn edge off again. Set this to Z. I can do this on my own. Let's scale it in. It's so easy after all. Uh, no, one at a time, my friend. One at a time. Okay. And then we're going to scale these in a little bit. But that mouthpiece has the same curvature. And then, this has got to be a mouthpiece on top. It's got to narrow in as well. Yeah. I'm going to go this. Narrow it in. Narrow it in. And narrow it in. Now, the edge that's here is actually changing angle backwards. Really hard to see what that angle is. Let's see. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I think there's supposed to be a flat area there. That the mouthpiece is angled that way. So if I do this from the front, which isn't actually the front, this way. Humming, coming at ya. That way? No. This way. It's all of this. I need to open the image while I'm rotating here. I can't get a good hold of what I'm doing. That goes up to there. That's that edge. That goes up to there. That's that edge. This goes back. Okay, that's what it is. Let's do this. This goes this way and this way. It shrinks down and goes down. Like that. If you ain't down. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. Let's man in that for a moment and do the blade. My oh, man, coming at ya. Okay, there. There.
Okay, next. Make these busy eight corners. Okay. So I'm going to throw an extrude on this to create a polygon out of it. I'm going to grab that polygon, invert my selection, and delete. So that I have just a singular polygon. I flip it here so that I'm dealing with the right side of it. Okay, let's bevel this. Wrong one. This one. Okay, let's see the angle. It's got to be more. Let's give it one. What? That didn't do what I asked it to. Okay, let's put an edge constraint on here and paste that position as well. And we'll target weld here and bring this back. Good, didn't fuck that up. Okay, so let's mirror this. Actually, yeah, let's mirror it. In height. Reset the X-form. Effect pivot. Okay. These guys are all gonna move forward. Just gonna align them to face here. Got it going on. I waited and waited. Wait a minute. Okay, I'm gonna bring this down. I'm going to bring this guy up, this guy up, because that'll be important. da ka da 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 do 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 Okay, I'm digging that. Let's find out where the blade center is. Of course, it's at zero. And let's move this to blade zero. 
Let's see if I can figure out the thickness of this thing. Ah, oh, that's really minor. But we all fall down. I kind of feel like the blade's going to be thicker. So let's try this. This height is here. If I make that match. I won't follow. I'll fall down. Do 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 do. Boom boom boom. What's going on? It's worth it. It's too late. You can't change. Okay, that should work. Yes. Okay, there's a blade. I still got to chamfer it in a couple of places here to make some splits. And of course, fix my end guns. But I think that is going to read okay. Debating whether or not I actually want to model in the cutouts in the blade. They could be easily done with a normal map, but I think they're deep enough that they need to be there. Which is a shame, because they're a little bit curvier here than I'd want them to be. I guess I can do four edges there. Let's try that. Let's four edge this. Here. Here. Here, here, there, and close it. Do, 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 go, go. Poison in their brainwashed minds. If you, um, if you uh, buy the student version of ZBrush, it's, uh, I believe it's half the cost. You have to show them student ID or something in order to get that cost. But, um, but if you do that, um, they allow you to upgrade down the road. So you can kind of treat it as a, as a payment plan. If you can get away with that and buy it while you're a student. So I'm going to have to put another edge in here or two. Uh, 
Goes there, one, two, I'm gonna have to do two, shite. Let's connect this with two. No, don't do that. Use the cut tool. Put one there. And one there. I might add another curvature point here too. And that'll give me the ability and and they do allow you christian to to upgrade and so you can do that uh b h yeah i am i am currently working on a game uh i'm working on a couple of things um first and foremost i'm a character artist at a studio here in Toronto and uh, and I'm working on a game there uh, I'm not working on any games per se on my own um, not only would that not be um, cool to do that to a studio full of colleagues um, but it's not in the spirit of the uh, employment agreement I I signed and so I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. Um, but uh, what I am working on here is something for a, uh, it's just for one of my classes that I teach uh, in September. I got a character modeling course that I teach and I'm making a game for the students to play in order to figure out what characters they're gonna be making semester long. And so that's what this is. Uh, it's going to be something that helps them figure out what they're working on. So yes, the student version comes with all the bells and whistles of the full version. The only difference between them is that it uh, you are not allowed to ship a retail project with it. Um... And they do let you, as I mentioned, um, they do let you down the road upgrade. Um, so you can you can then like fill in the rest of the, the money that you haven't spent. Um, and so it's kind of like 700 bucks now and 500 bucks down the road um, in order to get you the whole the whole thing. Let's do this in this view here again. Uh, increase the outline. About there. I gotta watch it on below that vertex. And we'll bring this in. Yeah, something like that. We can try and go fix this here. Um, there was a limited amount of time, I think, that you're allowed to have the student version. Um, I'd have to look into it because, again, I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent on that. Um, but that that means that no, you don't get upgrades, right? Otherwise, people would just stick with the student version and never upgrade. Yeah, that makes sense, Christian. Like it's it's meant to take a bite out of the cost for people trying to learn the software. Um and you know, <laughs> 
not help out those trying to circumvent buying it. Something's going really weird here. I'm getting some shading issues here, which makes me think that this has got a concavity to it. Which indeed does. Which I need to go fix. That should fix the rendering here. Yeah. Okay. I'm in my place. Okay. So that's decent for the blade, other than the... Uh, the slices in the blade now they've actually they didn't do that in the uh you can see in the print here the blade is smooth but the way that i see those lines in my head what those lines are doing is they're actually cutaways in the blade Let's see if we can't find a replica or something i think there's nothing on that one Actually, that one's really different. None of the uh, the cutaway is at the front. So it doesn't look like any of that cutaway. So I should have uh, I should have looked at this a little bit more clearly because what I'm making is not accurate here. Those cutaways aren't on the flat of the blade. I wouldn't mind seeing it. Well, that would be an app, a Bandai replica. So that would be as accurate as it's going to be. Yeah, okay. I'm totally messing this up. So this image that I've got is actually not all that accurate um, in what they've done with this front tip, um, which is a shame. Um, but it means that I need to get rid of the uh, the line that's here. It shouldn't be there. And the blade actually curves. What was the really good one I saw? The blade. This one. So that's flat. And then, yeah, the whole blade curves at the front. There's actually a cutaway in the front, too. That is not present in the blueprints I've got. So this is, um, this is a, a not good rep replica of this. So I think before I do that, I'm going to have to make the core center of this. <laughs> I'm so one of the Ian, one of the creatures I've changed. Um, it used to be the bride, which was the uh, an evil incarnation of a uh, a woman wronged, right? Who comes back for vengeance, something in the vein of of Carrie, if you will. Um, or, I mean, even the bride from, uh, from Tarantino, but, um, but a creature version of that. And I wasn't able to actually find a way of doing the bride, um, while keeping it genderless, while keeping it gender neutral. And, uh, and I was like, man, I don't know how to do that. And I had a really good totem for it too. It was going to be a, like a, an old decaying bouquet of flowers but I just couldn't make it work um, with with having no gender associated with it. So I went in a different direction. I swapped out the bride, um, which is no longer one of the creatures, for a kaiju. And having the kaiju in, I needed a totem for that. And I was like, oh, it's, it's the dragon sword. And so... You get the dragons or dagger, and you can summon a kaiju. And I thought that very fitting. And so, yeah. Shadow boxer, when I heard you on the radio, I just don't know what made you believe that I was 
And now I got a new tour. Release in pain. Past your soul. Yeah, I think if someone gets a kaiju as a creature, it would be a lot of fun to make that. And so that's kind of why I went in that direction. We'll see. We'll see if anybody ends up getting it. Beat down. I'm gonna knock you out. I'm gonna knock you out. Mama said knock you out. Mama said knock you out. Mama said knock you out. So I tried uh, today to introduce my kid to uh, the original Super Mario Brothers game. He finished Mario Maker on the Switch. And I was like, well, if, if you can complete a Mario game, why don't you go back and play them all? And so I loaded it up on the, um, on the, uh, the shield and, uh, and let him go to town on it. And he played three times before declaring that game terrible because you cannot use a thumbstick when you play it. And I was like, buddy, those are, <laughs> those are the days before thumbsticks when that game came out. We're, you know, we're talking about thumb blisters back in the day from using the, the direction pad. And so uh, he gave up rather quickly. And, uh, ah, shite. And, um, <laughs> he was, uh, he, he, was, he was into the retro gaming. He's like, yeah, let me, let me try some other things that you have. And he was like, dad, can I play Sonic? Does Sonic use the dumb pad? And I laughed hysterically that he called it a dumb pad. Like, that's not what the D stands for, you little shit. <laughs> I love them. From the mouths of babes. You know what I just realized? I probably should have just done this all four sides. Yeah, I should have just done it all four sides. Yeah, well, I don't know why I didn't do that in the first place. So I don't know if you guys heard this or not, but <coughs> there was an announcement made today. Uh, um that has me scratching my head. I'm I'm really I'm really fucking curious as to what's going to happen with this. But apparently Trump found something out about some uh some Pentagon agency that deals with uh the study of UFOs and apparently Trump was blown away and he said there's something here that that, that they're hiding from the the public. Um, and this is something that every person needs to know. And uh, and apparently they're, they're going to make an announcement tomorrow. And he's like, this is going to change the, change the world. I was like, you're still a fucking idiot.
But apparently there's supposed to be some kind of meeting tomorrow or uh, announcement tomorrow that Trump says the, the world at large needs to be aware of. The fuck, man? Okay. So let's delete this little bit in here. I don't know that that would be enough, Ian. Like, I get what you're saying, but are there enough UFO believers in the U.S. that that would get him reelected? I don't I don't know that there are. That was where my brain went too, but I don't know what the fuck Nvidia. I don't know that there are enough uh UFO believers that that becomes a thing in his favor. Now there will find me. Let's put this here. Oh, absolutely. Um, I don't know if you've seen what's going on with the numbers in the U.S., but they are scary. Um, it took them... Oh, let me see. Uh... stupid so it was something like um it was something like it took them 40 days to hit a million and it took them um 20 days to hit 2 million after that another 20 days after that um to double and then it took 10 days to double again after that. And so they are, like, un unbelievably accelerating the, um, the rate at which people are, are getting sick and dying there. And dude's fucking worried about election. I walk alone, I walk alone. Okay, so that's going to work nicely. I was hoping that I had enough geometry here to make sure that that curve is nice. And it looks like it will be. Okay, let's do this. On the boulevard of broken dreams. Ba -da -da -da. I'm going to put that there, I think. <laughs> How's that for irony? <laughs> Damn fucking Americans. Ugh. And they're going on without a care in the world. It is frightening to see what's going on in that country. I had a sister that lives there. And, uh, and I fear for her. Uh, that's not what I want to do. Let's take this and extrude it. To about here. Okay, that works.
Okay, we'll put one there. This one's going to come forward. I'll put another extrusion here. Out there. Do -do 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 -do. My lines, my vision. Because I'm somewhere in. Okay, I think that's all I have to do at the front. Let's see if that's reading as the right shape. Uh, definitely it is not, so I'm gonna have to curl that in. Down on the ground to block the sound. Do 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 Gunny between Doom, but do be doom, but do be doom, doom, but do be doom, doom. I'm going to move this up here for a second. Just make sure I don't get any Z fighting. Do 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 It's in the dark And the pieces of my puzzle keep crumbling away, but I know. Yeah, I think that's going to be okay. Between agony. So it just looks like this edge shouldn't be hard after that. Between Between Look at the actual one here again. Oh, it's right in tight against that thing. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to look at both references here. Because this one is not accurate. That Hits this corner and goes around that piece. What I need to do is get this thing right before I do anything. Doom, 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 doom. 
May your wishes all come true. Others do for you. And climb on memory rung. And may you stay. So I gotta get rid of all of this. I do not have built. That's what I need. And I actually need to bring this edge up and closer against this. We got it, brother. Talk to you later. Stand up right in your song. And may you stay forever young. Okay, down, down. Okay, I gotta delete the other side here because this is gonna fuck up my chi. Let's get rid of this. Bum, ba, da, And always be busy. May your feet always be swift. May you st a strong foundation. And what did you think, Christian? Is it not beautiful? May you stay forever young. May you stay. Doesn't actually look like there's much of a tip on this blade. You didn't like the show? The show was brilliant. That might be a good reference. So yeah, so I'm going to have to change the way that I'm doing this curve. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll crawl inside and die. I mean no warm love. Dude, it's it's Shakespeare. I mean, it's not your kind of show. That's going to go there, and then these are going to go here. Actually, I'm going to bring them back. 
up, try and get a little bit more rounding out of this. And I'll bring these two back in. I ain't ever coming back. Okay, let's just close these off. And bring this guy back too. Now, what I need to do is affect the curvature on this a little bit better. Those guys can go away for the time being. Put a new slice in here. I'm going to use this slice to help curve the blade a little bit at the front. I should be doing this in a far more. What is that? Weird. Motion path. Hmm. There's something showing up on this object. I don't know what it is. No expression. Wanna drown my sorrow. No tomorrow. Tomorrow. Find it kind of sad. Dreams in which I'm dying. Hmm. Maybe I should keep keeping these in the middle. Mad world. This is why you're supposed to model things the right way. Every child should this and I'm very nervous. No one knew me. It's my lesson. Kind of funny, find it kind of sad. Best I've ever had, find it hard to tell you. People run in circles, it's a very, very mad world. Mad world. Enlarge in your world. Okay, let's see here. I'm going to make a cut all the way to here.
Yeah, I think that's going to read okay. Let's go clean up the geometry a little bit. Get some edges here I'm not overly fond of. My love is black and blue. Tell me where it hurts. Yeah, I think it's going to work. And then it's just back here. Okay, that fits a little bit better with what I'm supposed to be doing. Do, do, do. <laughs> now in the actual one, as opposed to what I'm making here, My love is black and blue. Uh, all of these polygons aren't gone. Tell me red. Yeah, even that line, that's not supposed to be there. I don't know who made this STL thing. Printable file. It's not accurate. That really bothers me that there's something there. And it has to do with the fact that I created this thing on a spline. And I, I've had that happen before and I can't figure out what to do with it. Let's try this. Let's create a box. Convert the box to an editable poly. I'm going to align the box to my blade. X, Y, and Z position. We're going to go pivot to pivot. Once they're aligned, I'm then going to attach the blade to the box. Followed by deleting the box. And that gives me a new object, which is my blade, exactly as it was. But whatever nonsense was here is now gone. So, fixed. Tell me where it hurts. Okay, this guy. Let's go to edge. I'm gonna go up here. Do that. Okay, and I don't need... I don't need everything that goes in here. Let's do this. Adjust. And I'll delete everything from here down. Okay. Son of a bitch, that hurts. So I probably could have kept the polygons that I deleted from here. They just need to, needed to be extruded inward. But I can do that here. Get rid of that. That's fine. Caged inside. Turn that off. So we'll do that. Actually, I think I'm going to try and find a better way to do this. I'm going to try and bridge across here. There to there. Does that cover everything? It does not. Okay, we're going to go down one more. Here. And one more. Let's see what we can do with this. Inside, somebody help me through this nightmare. Hmm. 
Okay, so let's go in. Let's say negative point two five. Let's go to bevel here. Negative point two five. Too much. Negative point one. Good. Dum 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 dum. Okay, and then the ones in the front here don't need to exist. Mm -hmm. Help me believe it's not the real me. This animal, this animal, this animal. Bum, bum, bum. down Z you still not there oh right because I made a box my bad The more of you that I inspect. Okay. My ears are overcome with noise. Greatest of ease. Let's do this one and this one. Z point three nine point three nine nine. Angry again, angry again, angry. Ow. I'm like a contortionist. Okay. So that should give me the green bit. Uh, engaged in crime, I match my hole. Starts to smoke in for a mental overload. Angry again, angry ow. Gravity's got my bones. I don't think I ever thought I'd ever be making a Power Rangers asset. I was never really a big big fan of the show. I brought my kid to see the movie when they when that came out, but that wasn't very good. Yeah, I think that's all right. Do 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 do. Okay, so what I want to do here is draw those shapes in.
Engaged in crime, I'm right by the hole. Starts to smoke and force a mental overload. We're going to try and reposition some of these points here. To try and help with the curvature of the blade a little bit. Starts to smoke. Okay. Mostly pleased with that. Do, 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 do. All right, that'll work. I'm gonna go and just cut this shape in here now. Why love your love? Here we go. Just enjoy the show. Hey, 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 hey. It feels so good, and you knew that it would. Bringing on the boom, boom. If you wake up in the morning in somebody else's room, room, blame it on the boom, boom. Now, see, I wouldn't ask you where you like it. But I'm going to tell you where you're going to get it, see. In classroom, last room, on the left of my fantasy, I'm g giving you my everything, my very thing, no bad beats. Come on, I want to hear everybody say... Bring in on the boom boom. Yeah, it's a little much. If you wake up in the morning in somebody else's room room, blame it on the boom boom. You love big, white, black, show sure enough, here we go. Oh, yeah. So. I think I need to connect this edge to here. You wake up in the morning in somebody else's room. If you wake up in the morning in somebody, if you wake up in the morning in somebody else's room. Okay, that looks better. Much better. I've got a non-planar polygon there. I'm trying to think about how much it bothers me. That looks better. Forever. Okay. 
Mm, call that blade done. I'm still gonna put the um, finger holes on this thing to make it look like a clarinet. But in terms of the blade, I think that's all I've got to do with it. Oh, it needs, you know, other side. That you're here tonight. Okay. Now that is the blade done. Let's see about doing this back end. Take me away, yeah, yeah. Where somehow Okay, let's go in first. I'm out there. I'm out there. Do do do. Hmm. That's not gonna work. Comfort now. On my way. Mm -hmm. Day. Real as ever. That's better. Real as ever. Do 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 do. No idea where that 
tube goes on the other side. None of the reference seems to actually show it. Oh. It looks like there's a thumb clip back there. Oh, why is there a thumb clip? Bastards. Well. Real as ever. Man, that sucks. <laughs> I'm just looking at what this thing's supposed to do. There's a thumb. So this guy actually screwed this up too, but there's a thumb piece that goes here. My god. This is not the world's greatest designed weapon slash musical instrument. Okay, let's... Do this. This part should at least be fairly easy. Um, gotta do it the right way. Dun, 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 dun. Mm. Okay, now I want this. And trim. Where the hell did trim go? There it is. Not anything back here or here. Or here. Okay, so now let's pull this thing out. Before I do anything, render it in the viewport and get my thickness right. This is now your life. Okay, that's got to go up there. I'm going to refine here. And these guys, actually, this is going to go up. Make this a corner for now. And these guys go back. And refine. And in. Miles away from those love, hope is hard to find. Okay, so that's good. I'm gonna change the curvature on those things, but that'll work. And that curve's fine, but it too has to go around this.
about here. I mean... Lonely and I'm tired. Okay, and then these two go to the other side. Never to be seen again. And all the shops are closed. Okay. And I think this just goes into the spheroid on this side. And I hope to help me through. Oh, yeah. Every single shot of this thing is from the same side. I think my kid actually has a toy of this thing. And if his toy box wasn't completely over full, overfilled with toys, I might go look at it for reference. Man, I ain't finding this. This is a three injection figures toy. Ah, weapon. <clears throat> ain't no way I'm finding that. <clears throat> okay. So I think that's that's gonna suffice. So we're gonna grab these guys. Not you. And I wanna fillet them open a little bit to just round those shapes out. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, holy crap. Dear God. Okay, am I pleased with that? I think I am. Mm -hmm. How much of it is actually penetrating through the mesh? Oh, enough. Oh no. Come on. That's where it should be. And I don't see it passing through anymore. Okay, convertible poly. Next, I need my edge selection. So there's this one, this one, and this one. And then somewhere down here, this one and this one. And then down here, this one and this one. Okay, those, and then on the back side, shite. Okay, well, I'll chamfer these ones, and then I'll come back and do the other two. Mm -hmm. Uh, 
Okay. You guys are awfully quiet. Okay. This is just going to be normal detail. I'm not going to bother making those. Maybe I should make the coin. Wouldn't change a thing. I wouldn't change a thing. A wicked dream. Look at the wake. Okay. I wouldn't change a thing. I wouldn't change a thing. Look at the wake from the stardust falling from your eyes. You are perfect in my mind. That's not going to work. Refine. Live on the That'll work. Look at the wake from the stardust falling from your eyes. You are perfect. Look at the wake from the stardust. It's no mistake. You are perfect. You win from your eyes. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, that all should work. And you won't fade away. All right, I'll do. What the hell happened to it? You are not there.
I wonder if I should make another cut. Change my intent. Your affection. <laughs> hey, Rich. How you doing, brother? Man, I wish that wasn't so crappy. I think I need to make another cut. There we go. Do you want more? Uh, it's not NURBS curves, but it's it's Max's version of the same thing, Christian. It's a really uh, it's a really easy way to get very uh, organic, curvy geo like this, which for this mesh I need, right? And so it's an easy way to get that done. Uh, I don't want it to be triangulated. Mm. Yeah, that'll work. What did you learn, Jimco? You talking about this? You learned this? I'm okay with that one. That edge needs to stay.
I came, I saw, I conquered. And blown out concerts. These aren't NURBS curves. NURBS don't exist in, uh, in Max. This is splines, which is, I mean, it's, it's similar. Uh, no, it was a uh, surface. If you use, if you use cloth, you get random triangulation everywhere, which I didn't want. I can take, I... I think I'm going to do this and put the triangulation down here. <laughs> it's not moving. Can I get an encore? Do you want more? Okay. It's probably higher poly than I needed it to be. Let's see what we can do about removing some of the topology here. For the love of Jeebus. You wouldn't have been around with my... Be the light, don't get it. I could have made this out of, you know, a plane and turbo smooth or whatnot to get all the curvature and everything. I just f I find it a lot faster to do it this way. I think part of that is the, uh, the first 3D modeling teacher I had um, loved splines. He loved using splines for making things. And, uh, and almost everything he did was spline related. And so I ended up, I ended up from him seeing a lot of, uh, a lot of secrets, a lot of tricks, uh, of things that you can do with splines that just made me love them. And so I go there often. In reality, my think I'm waking how I, my. Now this is overkill. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try Maya for something here. Let's see if this works. Maya's got a remesh uh, tool that is supposed to almost like ZBrush's Z remesh. Um supposed to reduce poly count for you and give you cleaner topology. Um, I don't necessarily want, I gotta have two of these things on this thing and I'm gonna 2000 polys here for one of them. So 4K on a, on a dagger, like I'm, I'm looking to maybe get the whole dagger under 6K, um, which, you know, I'm on my way there with where I am now. Oh, not under, I'm at 6K. Um, but having him just, 4,000 polys for a dino footprint. Yeah, not such a good idea. And again, I've got to put, like, there's still a lot of round shapes I've got to add in all of this crap that, uh, you know, round round takes up a lot of topology. And so I'm going to see what I can do with this thing here. Maya might be able to do this for me. Max doesn't have this tool yet, which is why I can't do this in Max. Um, I hope someday... They add this to Max. Yeah, this is a totem rich. 
Rawr. Look in my soul, look in my soul, I begin to stupefy. FBX, uh, claw. I can't save on the desktop? Oh, I'm in quick access, desktop. Wow. Let me see if mine can do this or not. Yeah, this is another totem rich. Um, this is for the kaiju. I thought it was a uh, an awesome totem for the kaiju. Okay, so it is working rather well here in Maya. And what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to go to Edit Mesh, and I'm going to try... Is it Edit Mesh? No, it's Mesh. And we're going to try and re-topologize this sucker. Uh, target face count. I would like this, if I can get it, to be uh, 500. And apply. And this happens on occasion in Maya. Where, nope. Uh, do you need it to be? I think it needs it to be. It sucks. Let's see if I can do this. I'm not going to be able to do this here. Okay. Yeah, it's a... Oh, Rich, you don't know what this is? You've never seen this before, Rich? It's one of the uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers weapons. And yeah, it is. That is literally what it is. It's a trumpet dagger. Yeah, it's got to be a closed mesh. Um, and I don't necessarily want to back on it. Um, so I'm going to try and do something that will close it, but give me... The effect I'm looking for. So I'm just going to make two of them out of one. And I would do that in Maya if I freaking knew how. I can mirror in Maya, but I can't offset a mirror. Mirror seems to just work around the origin. So we'll just do it in Max again and import. No. And I say, welcome to the show. Wow. Uh, let's try this again. 500. Retopologize. No, nope, still getting the error. Okay, so let's try remesh first. So remesh is similar to ZBrush's um, Dynamesh. And what you can do is if you run the remesh first and then run the retopologize, uh, it can often result in a mesh that does work. Uh... Well, let's see if there are any errors on my mesh. So it doesn't think there's any errors in the geometry. But it's telling me there's errors in the geometry. So thanks for a whole bunch of nothing, Maya. Wait, what are you still doing? Yeah, nothing. Um, okay. Do 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 do. So let's see how far back can I go with this? Not far enough. I just wanted to see how far back I could take the geo here because. Well, you got to put it this way. 
It's it's close. So I don't know if you guys heard. Speaking of uh, Rebel Alliance. <laughs> It sounds like Kathleen Kennedy is getting ousted from Disney, uh, from Lucasfilm. And Lucasfilm is hiring a new head of Lucasfilm who has a little bit more intimate knowledge of the inner workings of Star Wars in order to pull the franchise out of the gutter she put it in. The person they've hired to run Lucasfilm? George Lucas. <laughs> It's friggin' hilarious, man. Dude sells his company for like three billion dollars and then gets hired to run his company again. Brilliant. Okay. Um Yeah. And so we may be in for another um another string of Star Wars movies by George. Now that's you know the last three Star Wars he movies movies he made were garbage too, so I wouldn't I wouldn't go getting excited. Um, but apparently, this all came off the heels of her marching into the set of Obi Wan, um, and and screaming all about they don't know what they're doing and trying to take over creative control of the project. Okay. Let's see what ZBrush can do with this. You're not going to do it, are you? Okay. Don't be late and here's my key. I should have just turned down the uh, the iterations on my spline when I made this. I wasn't really thinking about the polygon count in the end. I wanted it to look round. <laughs> it's fucking round. The most cigarettes put out on the floor. Panties hanging from the doorknob, the ashy me craving more. To God, you feel the same. Okay. <laughs> George Lucas is just going to film his hiring process negotiations and call it Star Wars CG over top of everybody. The the thing that I was reading was actually an interview with George Lucas about being hired, which is why I think it's legit. Uh, okay, keep groups. Target polygon count 0.25. A uh, room 21. Oh, Jesus, Murphy. What kind of dog shit is that? Okay. This is a fucking hot mess. So we're going to do it the old-fashioned way. Do it by hand. Just 
stupid software. This one. Wait, where are you going? Don't go do that. Okay, let's try and be smart about this here too and delete the bottom. Yeah. ZBrush ain't perfect. It's got its flaws. Okay, we're gonna go this way. Not you. This one. Also not you. This one. Also not you. Let's kill those. Okay, so if I can make it that resolution, I think it'll uh, it'll hold up. Okay, so that's not fucking helpful. Well, there will be eventually, Rich. I don't even know that I want this. Let's not do that yet. Let's do one edge at a time here. Okay, connect this. Get rid of that. I'm gonna have to remake this. This is not gonna... There's no way I'm going to clean this up in a way that I'm going to be happy with. That's 400. I got it down to half of what it was. We won't die. Mm. It's three seventy gives me seven forty. Done. Bum 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 bum. Yeah. I'm gonna call that good enough. I got other shit to do. We won't die. Okay. Uh, it's supposed to have claws on it too. Which maybe I should do. Hmm. I'll put a spell on you. 
Because you're mine. No, I think we're gonna go out. Oh no. No. I don't care if you want me. Okay. And do the same thing here. How the hell am I going to do this? Let's put an edge here. And there. Fooling around. Okay, under 800. Oh. I damn smoothing groups. There we go. One freaking claw. Right, that needs to live on a coin, which needs to live in here. Mount a mount mount save me now you so them shot. I your maker will be wasting
Bounce a mow Save me. Yeah. Mm. Deny your maker. We'll be wasting. Okay, that should. No, I do that. That should do it for that part. I'm going to scale this open a little bit more. Bouch, mount, mount. Do 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 do. Deny your maker. We'll be wasting. Okay. I probably should have smoothing group this. I think this is one thing that I do like better about Maya than Max is the ability to just click on something even when you're in sub selection mode to switch over to it. It is irritating in Max to have to deselect, deselect, select, select. Deselect, deselect. Just being able to select it. I mean, I could have my, my layer explorer open and I could be selecting that way. But again, Max has issues with performance when um, there are too many, too many windows open. Ends up uh, being a bad thing. Bad, bad. Maybe it's a bad, bad thing. It is the Green Ranger Dagger, you fucking nerd. Um, good eye. <laughs> yeah, this is one of the uh, one of the totems for the basement. And so, yeah. I'm going to do all this nonsense. And I'm going to do this nonsense. And again, there are no pictures of the back of this freaking thing. So I have no idea what the other side looks like.
Yeah, I cannot find a single image online of the back of this thing. And it's not symmetrical. It is, it is as asymmetrical as they get. But there's just no reference images. I'm looking everywhere on Google. I was thinking maybe, like, I might find a, uh, Oh, bitch. Even, even the toys, even the, like, the replicas that you can buy. Um, nope. Nothing. They're only on ever display showing this side. Oh, there's the back. And that's a... Jesus, what is that, a toy? This does not look accurate at all. So it looks like this one is symmetrical on both sides. And there is one hole on the other side for this. At least according to a toy that I found. Whatever. Closest reference I can find. It'll have to do. So I'm going to put an edge in here, which I'm going to then convert to a shape, and then remove the edge. And now I have a spline um, exactly where I want it to go. We're going to render this in the viewport. Is a rectangle. It was about there. And the two is too big as well. It's going to go here. Write that to an edible poly. And we're going to delete the top half. Actually, get rid of that as well. Next thing I would need to do, get rid of my... I hate when it does that. Let's do it this way. There we go. Run a chamfer on this. Okay, now I need to put a disc on here and attach it. We'll do this with a cylinder. Okay, let's find out where this thing is. Okay, that lines up. Let's bring it out. So I wouldn't hate it if the number of edges I put on the cylinder fits so that I have something closer to this. Which looks like it's going to be way too high to do that. So, I may actually just have to put something in there and make it fit.
Bum 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 no no no. That's closer. I need to rotate this. Fantastic. Yeah, I found I found an image as well. Uh we're probably looking at the same toy. This image here. Is that what you found, Ian? That's as close as I've been able to find. It's a cheap toy. Um, and it looks like the little circle that I'm making is still here. It goes wraps around. It's missing the color on it, but it looks like it's there. The, the foot is sideways on this part. So I don't know. I don't know how accurate that is. And then I've got a little bit of differentiation here. Um, where there's four finger holes on one side. There appears to be just one on the other. And so that's that's what I'm doing reference wise. I don't know how how accurate it is, but it'll do. So I'm going to scale this down just a little. I'm just trying to cheat these edges a little bit. Yeah, so I I don't know if I ever told you this, Ian. I was making a uh, I was making a gun at one point in time, um, a um, MP5K, and I couldn't find. There was a component in the gun that I just couldn't find enough reference for, and I looked everywhere. I could not find it. And what I ended up doing was I found a guy on eBay that was selling them. And I sent him a message. I was like, oh, you know what? I'm interested in this, but I need to know if it's the right component. Um, could you send me some more pictures of it? And dude, thinking that he was going to get a sale, was like, hell yeah. And he sent me, like, pictures from every angle of this thing. And I was like, thank you. <laughs> it's not what I wanted. Uh, sorry. Um, and so, yeah, I ended up with these perfect photos of this thing to model from. Ba -na -na. Her boyfriend, he don't know anything about her. He's too stoned, Nintendo. I could make her see. So I'm going to try and bend this guy a little bit to make him fit. I don't know how well this is going to work, but we'll give it a whirl. He hasn't got a lot of topology on him, but it work. There it is. Minus ninety. I just wouldn't hate it if it if it fit a little better to the contour. He's too stoned. eBay of gun parts? Oh, I've never been there. I have been to IMFDB, which is the IMDB of firearms. The Internet Movie Firearm Database. IMFDB. Uh, and that's got like a list of every movie, game, TV show, everything with a firearm in it. And it tells you what firearm they used in those movies and TV shows, even fictitious things. Um, it'll be like, oh yeah, this was originally made from this, this, this with like a thing on the bottom of it, uh, which is really useful. Okay. I need to look at the actual prop again to see what this thing looks like. Uh, 
Okay, so it looks like it's actually a button. Wasted the night between both these time. Really thin line. I'm going to do a chamfer on here. Why don't you work anymore? Yeah, no, totally. They have fire. That's <laughs> Firefly was why I went to IMFDB. Um, because uh, I was I was making a Firefly game and I uh, I needed to know all their weapons. There's a lot of like legitimate weapons in Firefly, and then a lot of um, a lot of just made up shit. And they kind of went half and half with it. At one point, I was very well versed in uh, <laughs> no pun intended in Firefly weaponing. Um, I had I I knew quite a bit about it. Oh. Okay. Uh, Chamfer did a shit job on this thing. Well, I didn't scale it much, but you really notice that shit ain't round. Just for one thing. One of these things is the actual thing from the show. Do, do, do. So it looks like there's two lines coming up that go across. Here. And here. That'll work. For one thing. If I sorted it out, I'm going to shift this. Uh, get rid of these edges. Radial. Because I think that's going to look better. Yeah, whatever. 12 sides is fine. Do, do, do. No, don't do that yet. Oh, too far back, too far back. One undo. That's what I wanted. These two. These two. Come on.
apparently. I didn't close up the back of this thing. <laughs> okay. Come on. Okay, there's that part. And I gotta do these guys over the front here, too. I'm tempted to actually look at... Uh, I'm tempted to actually just look at a clarinet. For reference. Since that's obviously what this is based on. It is very clearly based off a of clarinet. And so I think I might just kind of take a look at clarinet stuff here in terms of res reference. I don't know what those things are called. Finger somethings, finger board. Finger rest. Finger rings. Is that what they're called? I never played clarinet. Actually, I've never played a woodwind instrument in my life. Okay, so yeah, these definitely look like they should be curved rings with an actual plug from this sticking out. If I'm going to try and make this look like a real instrument. Uh, and I do got to go and chamfer this, the mouthpiece as well. It's still really hard edged. But I think other than that, other than reproducing the coin on the other side, which I'll do once it's UV'd, I'll be done with this godforsaken thing. Like I said, this was one of the ones that I was kind of uh, not looking forward to making. Okay, so let's do this with, sheesh, let's do it, okay, let's try this. We're going to do it with a, um, I'm going to do it with a circle, spline. And I'm going to try and get the shape right. And the reason I'm going to do this with a spline is that unlike most geometry, a spline can be curved around a surface. And the way that it can be curved is by just going into its... Um, Going into its points here, top and bottom.
and grab the bottom and the top and I can bring them in. And this will allow me to curve this thing right along the length of the instrument. Like so. Giving me a pretty decent looking shape. No, it looks like the um the actual term for the for the things is finger rings. Uh, they aren't keys. Keys are, are buttons. And these are technically what this is, is a hole um, that you put your finger on. And um, and yeah, it, uh, it will squish in the object. Uh, it goes and covers the hole. Your finger covers the hole. Okay, I think I'm going to be pleased with that. I'm just going to make all of them. I'm going to, can I increase the thickness here? Make them a little bit more imposing. So one there, one here, one there, and one there. Okay, so this one's going to move back further. But we keep on running until we reach the highest ground. There's something here I'm going to build too. Yeah, see, that's going to read correctly. So all I got to do now is go and build the section of this thing. And the edges on this that are going to stick out. One there. Here and here. Hide this damn thing. Okay. And looks like there's one in the middle here. Got that one, got that one, got that one, got that one. There's already one there. I'll worry about that in a bit. Let the work real hard. In the noonday sun. Betty right beside him till the work's all done. <clears throat> but every now and then they got a strong desire. Yash, my friend, how are you? Bot up. Bot up. Okay, and uh, hide all. I need this edge. I can see him come from a mile away. You know what? I think I'm just going to make this thing symmetrical on both sides. I know it doesn't make sense. Oh, fuck it. I will. I'll do something with it. Hay needs hauling, the hogs need slop, but the tractor stopped. Ain't nobody working, but the. Ain't nobody working. Okay. Okay. 
Chucking those dirty old work clothes off. Um, yes and no. Um, it's the, uh, it's one of my totems for the game. Uh, am I going to say fuck it, I'm done with this thing? I'm going to say fuck it, I'm done with this thing. This is the, uh, the Dragon Zord dagger from, uh, Power Rangers. And it's one of the totems. Do, 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 do. Oops. Okay, so I don't know what happened here. Evidently, I had something selected. These guys are unnecessary. And these ones are unnecessary. Just to fail. Now we're gonna pop over to vertex mode. Just go home. Make sure that's welded. Tear my heart open. Okay. This one. Against my own advice. But you never realized. Uh, only other thing I need is this guy. I saw myself shot. Care too much. There we go. Do, 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 do. Uh, let's see if I can do this. Yeah, no, I don't have it. Okay, so I want to bevel this and clean up the geo. I probably should make a hole for the mouth, which I happen to have enough topology for. Care too much, but the past is real. Okay, now in the chamfering on that bit, then I clear too much. So that needs to be split. Okay. This is going to get detached. No piece. Uh, which is its own entity. Now if I deal with this thing. This. 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 This and around there we go. All that needs to be chamfered. Okay. That works. Be all gone. I can't remember the day that you told me.
row. Just one more line and I'm gone. Okay, so time to reduce the polygon count on the mouthpiece. I can't remember the day that you told me. Not that strong. Go. Okay. So now we're going to chamfer these guys. That we moved on. Da -da -da. I walk away from Okay. Now I just want to go back into this guy and straighten out the sides of this a little bit. Since they're actually supposed to be straight. Now I'm gone. Oh, oh. Okay. Let's actually make it straight. Okay, I believe make that planar too. Fourteen thousand with a second coin, so probably fifteen, probably a little higher than I wanted it to be. Um, well, whatever. It's just one totem. I think I'll be okay with it. And I think what I'll do is normal map everything else. Okay, resetting X form, turning everything to poly. Let's go to Maya. Just like you. Okay, let's bring this thing down to size. And center it. On my own. Cabin in the woods. We're going to go FBX, totem meshes, and this is... 
Uh, what the hell is this? Kaiju. Hmm. Kaiju, also known as the Bride. It's gonna break the game, but I want to fix the name. I did not do a, I did not do a check for Engons, which I probably should have done. Otherwise, this is gonna come in triangulated. Looks like I'm okay. Not actually seeing any triangles. Now there is some topology here that can be cleaned up. I do have a lot of these rings uh, existing inside the mesh, which they don't need to be. Uh, maybe we'll maybe we'll do that. Let's go clean this guy up. A little bit. So that. And that, and that. Kind of each one of these things. This, no, this, this, this. Hmm, funny, there are some N-Guns. I don't know why I didn't clean them up. No, no, there's totally a character, Yash. Have I not shown them to you? I was working on them during the uh, during one of the live streams. I guess it might might have been one that you didn't see. Um, I'm not in the right place. Unreal Projects, Cabin in the Woods... Let me, I'll pop this open. I'll show you the character. He's not done yet. I'm doing hair and I've got to texture his arms still. Um, but the uh, most of the rest of him is good to go. Moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Who am I disagree? Everybody's Okay, these things should unwrap quite nicely, I would think. Might be worth breaking the tip. Want to be abused. I want to use you. Okay, let's put those to one side.
Harry Ash. So this is, yeah, this is the kid that's going to be walking around in there. Um, I've got, a, like, the ZBrush portion of his arms are done. Um, I just have to get him, uh, I just have to get his hair done. He's got no eyebrows either. I got to put those on. And, um, and yeah, he's, he's good to go. He's got everything he's going to get other than just, uh, And so, yeah, there is definitely a character. Yeah, I got to do his hair. Uh, the system I was planning on using for his hair uh, isn't going to work. I was hoping it would, but uh, it's not the case. And so I'm going to have to, uh, I'm going to have to do something else. Um, probably just end up doing hair cards. But yeah, that's that's what he's gonna look like. If I leave tonight, if I can touch you right. Okay, let's cut this bad boy off. I am going to... If I breathe tonight, if I can set you fine. Looks like a Batman logo. When Savon, I would survive. Okay, here, and probably this. If I breathe tonight, I'm going to try to find. Hmm. Dum 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 dum.
There's a little bit of these things here that can be removed as well. Again, another nice thing about Maya. Is that I can manipulate geometry while I'm uh, while I'm unwrapping, which man does that make my life a little bit easier? I'm just gonna leave those for now. Well, I was really looking to get this done in one go, but I don't think that's going to happen. You got it, pal. Have a good weekend, my friend. Right. A feeling down, you're not only one. I'll take you by the hand. I'm just going to leave it. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm done. <laughs> I got nothing left in the tank, man. I'm I'm running on fumes here, and I'm starting to see double of things. So I'm going to do a pack. I'm not, I know I'm not done doing my UVs here. I really want to finish the UVs, but I'm going to make a mistake if I just keep plugging away at it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a pack. I'm going to export it then over my... Um, over my current FBX. And when I pick this up early next week, I'll uh I'll just import that FBX and continue unwrapping. Not ideal, but uh it's better than having to re-unwrap it because I made a mistake because I'm tired. And so that's what I'm gonna do. Let's close this guy. I'll keep doing its packing business. Uh, and then I can high poly this thing and start uh, substance painting it. I 
I'm going to try and get some modeling done on the weekend, too. I've got a few ideas about things that I want to... I want to try and accomplish. I've changed an, another totem for one of my creatures, actually, on my wife's suggestion. Um, I did what I thought was kind of a clever totem for one of the creatures. And my wife was like, you didn't go the obvious route? And I was like, obvious? Well, what the hell would be obvious? And then when she told me what the totem she was thinking of, I was like, oh my god, that is so much better. And so I'm throwing out one of the totems that I was going to do in favor of one that she suggested, which was way better. And so um, that one is one that's going to require a lot of work. And so I may, uh, I may try and get that done for the weekend. Okay. The UVs aren't great, but uh, let me go into object mode here. Select everything. Export selection. This is Coming in the Woods, FBX, Totem Meshes, Kaiju. Okay, so that's that. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, hanging out for a couple hours. And uh, I'll see you guys after the weekend. I'll be back on Monday night, 8 o'clock. Um, and I'm going to keep trying to plug away at these things. We're more than halfway through all the totems. And so the faster and, uh, more time I spend doing these things here, the, the sooner we'll get rid of them and, uh, and be able to get this project kind of done and over with. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you next week.